Assalamualaikum. Welcome to Primavera Project Planner 13th tutorial. I am Engineer Muhammad Qasim Shinwari to guide you in this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will study about the resource file, the resource table, and resource leveling. Resource cost, resource or cost profile. It displays an on-screen histogram that shows resource use or costs per time period for activities in the layout. Actually, the histogram also includes cumulative curves. Red color indicates shortage of resources while green shows debt activities which are in limits. Second uh, topic we have to cover is resource or cost table. It displays an on-screen resource or cost loading chart that shows resources quantities or costs for activities in the layout. While resource leveling is the process of determining and minimizing the effect of low resource availability on the schedule, we use resource leveling to resolve resource conflicts by rescheduling activities to times when sufficient resources are available. For resource or cost profile, click on the resource cost profile icon. Okay, here you can see the curve. There is no histogram present. To display histogram, click on display and check the histogram checkbox and click on close you can see now we are seeing different histograms showing the different activities but these are not in proper view the, they are showing the area let me again make some changes go to the histogram format and from area change it into bar now close it now you can properly see okay it is the his these are the histograms shown for the architect now i want to show for the draftsman so it's the curve for the draftsman and this is the histogram if we see that histogram is in red color it means that it is exceeding our present resources now let me click over it okay here you can see group name draft it's the color periodic value and units members per day so the periodic values are also shown here Similarly, you can click here, another periodic value is shown. So, for different resources, you can observe the different kinds of graphs. For example, if in case we have some lack of resources and this histogram changes to red, then trace this histogram and see what, uh, which activity it lies here and try to change the duration or if you have more resources then add the resources and see the changes this is known as resource profile leveling let me close it now coming to the uh, resource table for resource or cost table click on the resource cost table icon and here you can see that we are having different resources tables which shows the different resources for example just take an example of architect it shows the resource table for architect how many resources will be required and so on coming downward and this is for the steel fixer and plumber and so on close it 
okay now coming to the leveling click on the level icon here you can see different tags so go to the resources tag here if other resources are present delete one by one click on all resources and then click on level now view on screen ok ok this is the leveling page here you can see the use of the different resources are shown it is the activity id and this is the description then architect labor mason and early start date and so on now coming to this you can see that if we are using the current resources we are getting the 25th august 2010 date but we are given the 28th february 2010 so to attain the 28th february 2010 we have either to increase the resources if possible or to increase the original duration of some of the activities which are which can affect the end date which are known as the critical activities critical activities affects the start or end date or in some cases board dates of a project so you can do it yourself so in this tutorial we have covered the topics like the resource profile how to make a resource profile and how to make resource tables and how to level the current resources and this is the end of the 13th tutorial